to ha- go through some wrestler names and just hear what you think of them in general because you've worked with some of these people. Some of them probably even haven't you know, uh, worked with them, but I'd like to hear your thoughts on these people. I'm going to just like five names. Um, right. so I'll give you their name. You give me your thoughts on them. First off, you worked with her a lot. Trish Stratus. Um, Trish Stratus. Uh, what can I say about Trish? She's, um, <laughs> she was fun to work with, you know, um, um, it was a little bit different with Trish because she never actually went to a wrestling school to learn how to to train as a wrestler. So Mondays, you know, was pretty much, you know, wrestling school for us. So, you know, we spent a lot of time together. Uh, I have a lot of love and respect for Trish. Um, but on Mondays, we would get there and we would be in the ring for, you know, three to four hours. Whew. Yes. Wow. So, Yes. So it was, uh, it so was, Mondays, it was, Mondays. It, was a, it was a lot of work going in there with Trish. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, you know, Garfield doesn't like Mondays. It doesn't sound like Mondays yeah. were that much fun for anybody else <laughs> who had to work with Trish. Uh, nothing against her. Hall of Famer. Yeah. Congratulations to you. Um, Camille. Camille, uh, I love her work ethic. Camille has come, Camille has come really a long way. You know, I remember when I first met Camille, um, I was just, first of all, I was just blown away to how, you know, just how she looked. She looked like a wrestler, yeah. you know? So, and I knew one day she was most definitely going to be a star, but yeah, I, I, I love a work ethic. I, 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 I just, I love working with Camille. Honestly, I have nothing bad to say about Camille. No, I'm not looking for bad words either. If you want to yeah. say bad things about anyone, you, yeah. you, 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 no. you do you. <laughs> uh, yes, Natalia yes. Markova, I, I've interviewed her a few times now and I think she's amazing. What do yes, you think she is. She's most definitely tough, and she look. There's, there's not nothing that she would. She's not willing to go out there to do. <laughs> I'll say that about her. Yeah, I, I interviewed her once, she and she, she's like, I broke my. She, she's like, I broke my jaw. Do I look okay? I'm like, you look yeah. great. And her face was like out here, and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Oh, yeah. And I'm excited about that match between her and Camille, even though they worked each other a few times. But I know 75 is going to be totally different. Yeah. yeah. Weapons involved as well. So yeah, well, that's going to yeah. be a uh, baseball bat to the face. Never. Uh... What, those are those are two women that if you want to get in the ring and, and, and bring a fight, those are two women that, you know, I would I would most definitely put my money on. But I don't know. I don't know what to say about this NWA 75. I don't know. I, I can't I can't uh, actually say who I feel and think is going to go home uh, victorious. I don't know. Yeah. It might, it might look bad on you. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Just just a little. Yeah. When you show up to work and they're like, hi jazz. You're like, Oh, you saw that interview. Uh, Yeah. Cause I, I have become friends with Camille and Natalia Markova. So imagining that they'll watch this and be like, what did she say? Yeah. And I love them both. And they, they know how I feel about both of them, you know? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna be a fan that night. Great answer. You just yeah. saved yourself a lot of headaches. Yes. Good answer. <laughs> what about Charlotte Flair? I know you weren't in the, ever in the ring with her, but someone who has come from a family, the daughter of Ric Flair, that pressure alone has got to be huge. But the fact that she has, I feel like, exceeded all expectations. But what do you think of her? I think she's the the goat for real. <laughs> I feel that. Um... If there is anyone I will get opportunity to work with, she would be the one. If I had to come out of retirement, it would be with her. And that's the title of this interview. Yeah. Jazz will come out of retirement to fight Charlotte Flair. I would. Because I think people would love that. And I think Charlotte Flair would appreciate it as well. Because I feel like she respects every generation of women wrestlers. Yeah. And uh, give it to me. Yes. Oh, man. Let's do it. And I and it doesn't matter who's be face or heel. I think it, it, we both could pull it off. Yes, one hundred percent. Oh my god! I'll go in his face. It wouldn't matter to me. I think you. I think you might have to because she is a somehow somehow no matter what she does is booed. <laughs> I, I don't know why she's she like yeah. you brought up. She's the goat. I, you know, so many people might have uh, um have done other things, but she she's gonna break records yeah. and she's not even done yet. Yeah, she's not, not even close. Done. And final name, absolutely love her. Right now, she's a free agent. 
Jordan Grace. She left Impact recently. Uh, she was in WWE in the May Young Classic, but we haven't seen her uh, since leaving Impact. Thoughts on Jordan Grace because she is someone who is like star all over her. Yeah, she's a pit bull. <laughs> She's a pit bull. She's a workhorse. I mean, she, she proves it every day. You know, she she goes from from wrestling to bodybuilding. I mean, and that's pretty impressive. Yeah, one hundred percent. Still wrestling and traveling and while doing it. So you know, that's 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 dedication right there. Because you know, when you get into bodybuilding, you can't you can you got to eat every certain amount of hours and. You know, such amount of liquids you can intake, you know. So, yeah, I, I consider that a scientist. So she's a scientist. <laughs> that should be her wrestling nickname. I like her gimmick. Yeah. <laughs> no no lab coat, though. I don't, I don't no, want the lab no coat. Lab coat. <laughs> no, no, 